Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am very happy to be here tonight. And uh, as you heard and as you all know, today is the 30th anniversary of the first landing on the moon. And the souvenir of that, I've brought along a picture of my first meeting with Neil Armstrong uh, when we were both uh, rather younger. In fact, that was taken early in 1970, in fact, after the second expedition to the moon. I have one of the latest satellites here, and here it is. The whole thing, they have, this is up here doing some, I think, secret job at the moment. See, there's the solar panels, and there's the rest of the hardware. You can buy this for less than a million dollars. Any, any offers? Well, I can, the first ground stations, too, of course, were very large. You know, the one that we've seen, the one at Paducah. And I, they've got smaller and smaller, and I'm happy now that the one you've just seen outside you know, is making this sort of service available over the whole world. Now, I've often been asked why I didn't attempt to patent the idea. Well, there are several reasons. One is that I never thought it would happen in my lifetime. And you know, I'm not really sorry because someone once said that a patent is merely a license to be sued. Communication satellites have changed the world and have made it one world. And in 19... 83, I had the privilege of addressing the World Telecommunications Conference at the United Nations, and I was up on the famous dais talking to all the delegates, and I'd like to read the concluding words of my speech then. This was in 1983, and I was looking forward to the end of the century when communications devices would get even smaller. Many of you carry on your, on your wrists miracles of electronics that would have been beyond belief even 20 years ago. The symbols that flicker across these digital displays merely give time and date. When the zeros flash up at the end of the century, they will do far more than that. They will give you direct access to most of the human race through the invisible networks girdling our planet. The long heralded global village is almost upon us, but it will last for only a flickering moment in the history of mankind. Before we even realize it has come, it will be superseded by the global family. Thank you. A moment of, a, a moment of...